Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about these. So these sound baffles are made by a company called Clear Sonic. They typically do things related to uh, sound baffling in production work, like uh, drum shields and things like that. Uh, the model I have is the Sorber S2444. Uh, you can go to their website, check out all the different sizes and models that they have. They've also got uh, sort of uh, links to tests that they've done with the sound abs absorption with all of these panels. So yeah, the version I have is 44 inches high. Each panel is about 24 inches wide. Uh, and the interior of it, what I would describe as a very thick sort of foam. And it has a handle on it, so it makes it uh, easy to carry. So why don't I just show you how it kind of works. We can go upstairs and I will set it up and then you can have a listen. Also, I do have some video of it being used on set and how useful these panels can be. Okay, let me try to give you an example of how the clear sonic uh, baffling works. Uh, so what I've done is I've left everything on in the house. The heat is on, there's a bathroom fan just behind the camera. Uh, there's a kitchen off to this side with the fridge on. So lots of sounds on. And then also, as you can kind of tell, the room sounds pretty lively. So I'm recording into a sound device is 633. I've got the MKH50, Sennheiser MKH50 on the boom. It should be on your left channel. And then on the right channel, I have my Electrosonics Wireless with my WLAV Pro from Deity Mics in a Bubble Bees mount, Senkin mount actually, it fits in there. So have a listen to the room. I hope you're using headphones. That'll kind of give you an idea of the sound. And then what I'll do is I'll put up the baffling and then you can listen to that. Let me show you a video I made a few months ago on set using the sound baffling. Uh, there was a noisy ballast. So I put this in front of the ballast and uh, from the video you can see how much of that it, it cuts out. Hopefully that video gave you kind of an idea of how it can be used on set. Um, after struggling with C-stands and chairs, I finally got this set up. Uh, again, the boom is on the left, my wire is on the right. I notice a difference coming from over behind the camera over into here. Now it's not gonna get rid of everything, but hopefully it gives you an idea of how you can use these to improve your sound on set. I found these panels an extremely useful tool to my kit. Recently did an interview with an HVAC system. We were able to put them on stands and raise it up and kill the source of the noise. My only one complaint on these panels is they do have some weight to them. So if you do need to raise them up, you do need to have like C-stands and Cardellini clamps to be able to do it. But other than that, I have no regret with the purchase of these panels. So shipping with this company within the US, the shipping is free over a certain amount. Now, they didn't ship to Canada, no problem. I use a company called myus.com, which sets me up with an address in Florida. So I was like, great, I'll get them shipped to my Florida address for free. So I did that. But then I got the bill to ship from Florida to Canada, and it was $1,000 Canadian to ship these panels. Well, I had no choice, I had to pay it. I tried to, I pleaded with them to try to give me a cheaper, a cheaper uh, cost, but they couldn't. So I had to bite the bullet and have them shipped up here for a thousand bucks. So don't be like me. If you're outside of the US, contact the company, check with them. Maybe you can work out a deal to make them a little bit cheaper. Even though I made the mistake, I'm still very happy and glad to have these in my kit. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and I will keep doing it. You can check me out on all my other social media under Fierce Sound, which is Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And uh, hopefully I'll see you on set.